bit of a recap first things first with Mark and then we're going to cut over to a bit of an interview slash chat that I had with good friend Jim Adams. Um, so Mark, talk us through Wednesday night. Um, uh, you were doing the co-host there with Fiona and came through. Yeah, we had to bring... Off. Yeah, we brought Fiona in. Well, she she volunteered. I noticed on Facebook that she said something like, I could so take your commentary job. So oh, that, 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 that looked to me like it was... a. Uh, Hands, hands she, was talking about, she was talking about Ross, so that looked to me like she was looking to do it. So then we gave her a shout and she was up for it. So, uh, yeah, I was glad because um, multitasking is um, not enough. my strong point. Yeah. And so how many sign-ons did we have? I think it was 520. 520. And the, the majority of them must have been D writers because we didn't catch them as, as an A writer myself. <laughs> I never actually looked at the numbers, how it was split. I'm trying right. to get Swift Power up here right now to see if I can see what the, the number was in the split, but I don't know. Um, well, the A's I know never, there was a lot because it was hard to follow. The A's never caught the front group, basically. Um, no. We had a 12 man handicap, and I think we got it down to three minutes. Yeah. So on the line. Um, but the first man across the line was Sean Heaven. As far as I am aware, yes. Nine year old, but then he got disqualified because he was one watt over. Yeah. So one is had, the one watt. Yeah. That's that's a bit of oil on the chain, you know? <laughs> that's all it is, yeah. So he's disqualified. <laughs> so who was who was officially our winner then? Uh, I, I'm trying to get it here. Uh Ross put it up last night. Very, Shane, very on Shane Kelly. Here, sorry. Shane Kelly. Was it Shane Kelly? He's breathing, wasn't he? Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Shane yeah. Kelly and then yeah. Aaron Murphy and Norman Wilson is what I'm reading here. Yes, um, that wee guy Murphy's another young lad. I think he's 10 or 11 or something. So I'll have to get these boys signed up for the, the, yeah. the virtual team. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I come off the turbo and then I I got a whole story from Bradley. Daddy, why can't I do it? So now I'm looking at another Swift setup in the house. Oh, yeah. There's another thousand spent on a Swift setup then. Yeah. No, it's only a couple of hundred. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, um, so yeah, the race went really well. Uh, the A race broken down basically was the first hill was a bit of a hand grenade job. I just about made it over, just about got the the trailer on the tow bar, and then the second hill. Um, you know, I, I came off the turbo, and first of all, I found out that a nine year old had won, and then I got <laughs> a few texts from people saying that you, I was doing this wrong and I was doing that wrong. It's like, guys, just let me suffer in peace here. <laughs> Yeah, the first hill looked like a nightmare because it just goes up and up and up, and I think it maxed out at something like eleven or twelve percent. I done one of the cycle and iron races one Saturday morning, got and uh, just got to the halfway up that hill and got dropped, and I was like, right, yeah, full day off work just for this here. So I sort of, as soon as I realised that we were doing it, um, I was I had a bit of a panic on there. So we need course recons. Yes, we're going to be doing course recons. Don't want to talk too much about it just yet. Give it away yet? Um, away. So but I think yeah. Ross did give it away on the he's, he's talking about something, but um yeah, as soon as I realized that we were hitting that hill, it was like right, I need to get up to the front here. And then the second yeah. hill was just a, a game of hand grenade job. And then after that, it was like ones and twos everywhere. Yeah, it was, it was so scattered I, all over the place. I went from like 30th to 20th, and it was literally jumping from one group to the other. And it reminded me of like a, a tour of the North stage that we did one time, and there was there was a hand grenade dropped coming into Ballymena and it was just ones and twos all over the road and you were going from one group sitting on them <laughs> yeah. for a few minutes and then jumping yeah. across um, so yeah it was good, old, good old job now um, I have to say that the commentary is going down a treat everyone's everyone's loving it, it makes it a lot easier to watch but you're, you're up in your game yet again it, it seems to be difficult um, to follow yeah. follow the riders because I'm sitting here doing the stream making sure everything's going okay trying to do shout outs as well as follow the riders so I've had a few guys message because they've obviously watched the stream back. They've messaged me with some info on how to basically do it. So oh. I just want to get their names right here. Pierce McCurdy. Right. I think he's a VC Glendale writer. Yeah. He messaged and pointed me in the right direction of what to do. And there was also a guy on Facebook last night, uh, Dougie. Dougie, yeah, yeah. yeah. He sent me a ma couple of messages there as well um, explaining what to do. So how do we go last night on just a random race. race? And yeah, it seems to be brilliant. Seems to be working good. So good. what we're going to try and do next week then is I think Fiona's back. 
Ross is going to also be there. And we're going to have a split screen. So I'm going to be following C's and D's. Ross is going to try and follow A's and B's or maybe Fiona. It depends whose laptop can handle that okay. as well as Zoom. Would uh, you know anywhere to get the laptops updated? Uh, yes, uh, here at WinMac PC, Warren's Town. All oh, right, okay, okay. Drop them, drop them around. Special matrix for cyclists. Yeah, just just to get the broadcast a bit better. Y- yeah, um, yeah. So, so what yeah. what's going to happen is uh, we we'll, should be able to flick between uh, C's and D's and A's and B's. Okay. So it, it, need... is, it is about chaos. Uh, say if you're just clicking down, as as you said, one click and it's all over. One click and it's, it's all over. As you've seen at the, the start, uh, I tried to click on a D writer and it just all flicked away and I clicked on a C writer and they're still in the pen. So that could have been disaster and another six minutes of trying to fill yeah. people in a pen rather than talk about the actual racing. So yeah, well, and then, but we're on top of it. And then next week, what's next week's round now? Next week is... Round two. Uh, Austria? Innsbruck? I think it's three laps. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to go and recon that, make sure I, I know it. Yeah, yeah. Well... We're, we're trying to get what we're trying to do is we created a YouTube channel there for the Tuz. I've noticed uh, that. I was, and, I was happy enough now to host them on, on the Kennings and try and get my, my, my pants up for click. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I've, been, I've been flicked here now. But well, we uh, just thought we'll keep everything in the one place to do with, with Swift and the, and the racing and the streaming. So, what we're going to try and do is get a rider who is unnamed at the minute, but we'll have a rider picked out yeah. to do this uh he volunteered as well right uh, to do a course recon so we're going to video him doing the course and possibly giving tips and hints and things Talk they got it. there as to where to save where to go where to put yeah. the power down that, that sort did, of thing i did try to do that tuck you know was it get up to yeah aero tuck yeah get up to 60k an hour and then like glass crank but um you have yeah. to be below three percent I see, that's what I'm asking. I don't know. Yeah. But it, it so just watch a wee mini map in the corner. It needs to be below 3%. It didn't work with the gut. And uh, <laughs> yeah. actually, you had well, the sprint to get back on. Basically, now I did give you a hard time one time about taking gels on the turbo. You did? Yeah. You did? Um, now yeah. I'm, I'm a sort of guy, a bottle of water, turbo, an hour, that's me. And I actually put the gels on my wee shelf and I said, I might take one. And I took one and uh, I started the ceiling all night. <laughs> <laughs> So what's that's the end of the gels? It, it's maybe a bit late. Uh, when we were doing the Cycling Ireland races, uh, they were Saturday mornings, so yeah. it was okay to bang a couple of gels yeah. just to try and hang on, but banging a gel at half seven at night. Maybe. It's like those Kirkuson races or like in the evening, you would have took a couple of gels and then got home and like two hours sleep and up the next morning for the next stage <laughs> yeah. or whatever, just turn it sitting all night. Yeah. But, uh, no, that's good. Yeah. Next week then is... Three laps of Austria then, so we'll get yeah. it sorted. But, um, and hopefully some new exciting stuff. Yeah, hopefully a sandbag list gets sorted out. Streamwise, yeah, 21 sandbaggers. Yeah, I, I have to admit, now the fallout on Facebook afterwards good. I, I enjoy a wee beer on a Wednesday night as a re- recovery. I said, I'll get the wooden spoon out here and we'll throw a couple of hand grenades into Facebook. And uh, <laughs> a couple of, couple of wee bites, you know. Just going fishing like us. Yeah, exactly. So I yeah. was thinking, you know, maybe, maybe Ross needs to... Get a blue coat on them and uh, talk about banning people if, if like a sort of two three uh, strike yep. tier system, you know. Yep, yep, definitely. Name and shame. Yeah, like there... it's the fact that there's A riders going into C. A, yeah, I can't understand why. They don't count the results, but yeah. No, but even so, if you're trying to ride as a group, an A rider in amongst a C rider, he's obviously going to be hammering along. The Cs are going to try and be holding to him, and then they're going to blow the whole lot of bits. Yeah. So yeah, we'll get that sorted for next week. We'll we'll buy Ross a blue coat. I would say he already has one. Yeah. yeah. Jim in. Now talking about Jim anyway, we'll cut across the conversation with him. Apologies for the sound, it's not great. Um I've upped my game here the last couple of days. Um I've bought dual microphones and a mixer and stuff. So this will be the fingers crossed, the last bad sound podcast that we get. Um stay tuned next week. I've like say I keep saying if people lined up, but I do honestly it's happening next week. Uh, cheers Mark we'll speak to you next week right no worries talk to you later here we are today uh, with a good friend um, man of metal known as East Antrim man um, Jim Adams welcome Jim hey man how are you well Jim came to the shop 
last March it would have been. Would have been March, yeah. Yeah, just called in for a chain and, chain and block and ended up spending about, what, the last six months anyway? Six months nearly every day and then be and then when my phone goes it's oh no what, what does he want uh -huh. for instance today we're after putting up a, a large what was it a desk shelf in the shop for it's bikes big display stand made out of the uh, key fittings key fitting clamps so Jim Jim knew who to go to where to get it and uh, it sort of snowballed so now that the shop the thing I respect about Jim is he's spent so long in the shop working with me and knows what needs done with the shop you know I've got a lot of people that will come in and say you should do it this way and you should do it that way and stand there with their hands in their pockets where Jim was like no let, let's even try it this way so the, the, for instance we had the, the workshop fully revamped um, yeah that was a great job beginning here when we were young there was a big hand with that yeah and doing fine tools now yeah no, but, but before it was a, a bit of hide and seek with some of the tools I actually got the colour code Colour coordinate ones for you as well. Yeah, me being colour man, that yeah. would really help. Yeah, find out the hard way. So, Jim, tell us a bit about your history with cycling. You're an East Andrew man. Yeah, I was sort of rode a bike. Um, I was originally from Dunmurray and then I got married, came to Carrick, joined Team Malligan, and then East Andrew was uh, got involved with East Andrew then, and I've sort of been in East Andrew ever since. Um, don't know, you were for racing, club racing, and bits and pieces, but I was like more. Sort of helping out. Yeah. I, I'd have been sort of the one that'd been standing in the corner waving a flag. And, and then it sort of transpired that I wanted to buy a bike one night off Aaron Walls. And it was, I know your face, I know your face. And it was, and then he said to me, he was running the course. And I went, I always fancy that. And he says, right. And then that was it. I just went from there, done the Commissars course, enjoyed it. And then really enjoyed the, 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 the cycle cross. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I liked doing a bit of mountain biking as well. I always liked it. Um, and just got involved with Martin Brimley and Lisa Miller doing the, the cycle cross and yeah, yeah I, I really enjoyed it yeah. and then when you got together then I'd sort of always known you from East Andrum as a like a real helper there's two two sorts of guys in cycling there's ones that are going to give back into the sport and ones that you know just race or whatever and Jim's one of these guys that you will see stand in the lashing rain waving a flag hammering posts in and then blowing a whistle at you and shouting at you for riding on the course when you shouldn't be so, I got to know you through East Antrim. You've done you've done commissar a couple, or you done uh, the pits. Oh, sorry, back up in the car a few times with the boys uh, to the north when I raced with Gary Cranston and stuff. And then I'd sort of put a post on one day that I was looking a helper. Me and Roger were going to a race in Belgium. I think was Spongeman you called. Yeah, Sponge pit, pit pony. Pit pony. Yeah. Pit pony. You said yeah, yeah. What's what's the what's the de details? And I said we'll fly over on a. I think it was a Tuesday morning back home on the Wednesday evening race, and you were like, yeah, no problem. And then from there, it was like, right, we have a couple of other ideas that we're, we're thinking of doing. Would you be on board? And uh, you drove the van for several hours upon hours for, for me. Picked me up at the airport in Belgium a few times. Yeah, when I enjoyed the, the once a year sort of trip out to Belgium with our home with yourself and yeah. uh, with a few other guys as well, and it was good. Um, yeah, there's been some squads. Yeah, I've been away with some good lads and learned a lot. And then I think that's where I got into the idea of the, the pits for the cyclocross and seeing what way they were running. I thought, man, we should do that back at home. And, yeah. Um, got Martin Grimley. I'd give a hand at one of the Orange Field races. Martin came at it. And then he came and asked me, could I sort of help and do the pits at the cyclocross from a commissar's point of view? So I sort of looked into it and then sort of learn by going away to Bells and Holland the way they were and tried to bring it back here and yeah. I, I think I think now look the level of sports at now it's it's a good thing because the boys know now what to expect when they yeah. go out there there's no shocks yeah yeah um, no one's new to them and that was I my, try to run it here as it would be there yeah that was my whole thing you know you go over to the, the race in England and you're going and you're standing with your mouth open going oh my goodness you know what am I at here is this a World Cup and it's just a, it's actually just a small race in England and that was the whole thing to try and lift our standard. And maybe our club does something as standard. Another club then does it as standard. And now the pits are just a standard. We, we know the dimensions. And I can leave, when we're setting the course up, Jim just goes and sets the, the pits up. And that's it. And that's a standard pit. But it's good as well 